For those Americans who believe in the perfect body, it's largely the creation of the image factories of Madison Avenue and this city, Los Angeles, California. While the women of LA have long embraced plastic surgery, now men are stepping up to the plate, signing on for everything from eyelid surgery and liposuction to procedures considerably more extreme. Jay may not look like someone who should worry about his physique, but he's about to have plastic surgery anyway. Over the last five, six years, I've really worked on developing my body, building my body up. I've gone from 170 pounds to 225 pounds. And because of a knee injury, I've not been able to work out my legs as much as I wanted to. But it's not his legs Jay wants to enhance surgically, it's his behind. So he's opting to have one of the more major cosmetic procedures available. He's going to get silicone implants in his buttocks, one in each cheek. Everyone has their demons to deal with. And mine has to deal with the perception I have of my body. Doctor. Jay's buttocks implant surgery will be done by Dr. Alexander Sinclair. Of all the operations Dr. Sinclair performs, this is one of the most invasive. Jay, here's a, uh, photographs of, of your buttock uh -huh. contour. The buttocks muscles, the gluteus maximus, are the largest in the human body and Dr. Sinclair will have to slice into them to insert the implants, and it's all for a purely cosmetic effect. more hidden, it will stay softer. What he wants is fullness in the upper buttock. The implant will be placed above this line in this area. The practical change here is that when Jay is wearing tight Levi's or jeans, he's going to have a fuller, more robust appearance. Throughout the operation, Jay will be just lightly sedated. But his lower back and legs will be completely numb. For Dr. Sinclair, the primary concern will be placing the implants in exactly the right spot. There's little room for error. He must steer clear of Jay's sciatic nerves or risk crippling his legs. To create a pocket for the implant, he digs deep, below the muscle. Under the muscle, it just gives that natural contour of the muscle bulging out, and that's really what the patient is looking for. After two hours, the surgery is complete. But for Jay, the hardest part's still ahead. He's in for plenty of pain, and an infection would mean the implants have to come out. But so far, Jay has no regrets. For Jay, as for many in LA, plastic surgery is not just a shortcut for achieving the perfect body. It's an instrument for realizing the far more individual goal of becoming happier with who he is.